Now, another story involving children, deaths of children in New Jersey, linked to a wicked virus. Yeah, it is called adenovirus. Six children who had compromised immune systems died from the outbreak. All were patients at the Wanakew Rehab Center. Twelve other children have also now come down with this virus. I would assume reporter NJ Burkett at the center in Passaic County, the Passaic County community of Haskell. He's got the latest. NJ. That's right, Bill. Governor Phil Murphy of New Jersey is moving quickly tonight to determine to reassure patients, family, and staff that all that can be done here is being done. But yes, the fact is six children have died and several others are still infected tonight. Authorities are determined to find the source of the illness, and they admit tonight that the outbreak is not yet under control. Of the 18 children infected here, six have died, and the conditions of the others could not be confirmed late this afternoon. All were patients at the Wanakew Rehabilitation Center, which has been ordered to cease admissions. Authorities say they were all infected with adenovirus, a flu-like illness that lasts up to two weeks in otherwise healthy people, but can be fatal in young children, the elderly, and those with fragile immune systems. Investigators with the state health department returned to the facility for a third straight day. Authorities have not determined how the virus was introduced into the facility or how it was spread to so many patients so quickly. This outbreak is affecting medically fragile children with severely compromised immune systems, said a spokeswoman. The combination of a worse strain of adenovirus together with a fragile population has led to a more severe outbreak. It is not clear when the outbreak was reported, but the center's administrator insisted to Eyewitness News this afternoon that there was no delay. The facility promptly notified all appropriate government agencies when the virus was initially identified and continues to fully cooperate with these agencies and has sought out their medical guidance with respect to the virus. So adenovirus is a very contagious virus. However, in these situations, they are very contagious in long-term facilities because they're often transmitted not only by sneezing and coughing, but also if the particles that are passed from your sneezing and coughing end up on other um, objects or particles around you and other people go and touch it and then touch their mouths or nose without washing their hands, that's how they can obtain the virus. And this from the state's governor. I am confident that the steps being taken by state and local officials will minimize the impact to all of those who remain at the facility, including patients and employees, end quote. Well, health officials revealed that an inspection here found what were described as minor hand washing deficiencies, but otherwise offered no insight into how the virus entered the facility and how it was able to spread so quickly.